Welcome to Barra, the beautiful Barra. I came over this morning on the ferry from Eriskay, which is a beautiful, gorgeous ferry route. It only takes half an hour, uh, but I was fortunate enough to be accompanied by a pod of dolphins, which was pretty special. Stepping off the ferry, just five minutes away is Barra International Airport. You wouldn't think it, would you? But this runway here in front of me is the only international runway which accepts scheduled airlines. But of course, only when the tide is out. And the tide is now, as you can see, it's in. But having stopped here, literally just a few minutes away from the ferry port, I've just seen this beautiful white house out in the distance there. And then beyond there, you've got the hills, the layers of the hills, and it's just created such a beautiful photograph with lots of depth and I've got the the ocean in front here so my camera is soaked from the earlier downpour but I've put the uh, 100 to 200 mil lens on my GFX here and I've put a polarizer on now the polarizer is going to have maximum effect because the sun is at 90 degrees to the direction in which the camera is facing. So I've swiveled the polarizer just to take the glare off the, the water's edge, uh, the water surface, and just to create some color into the water. And I've also put a six stop ND filter on the lens as well, which is gonna enable me just to smooth the water down. And it's just creating an absolutely gorgeous scene. And the sun is just lighting the, the house in the distance, as you can see. It's a beautiful scene. But I'm going to show you, just come behind the camera and I'll just show you how I'm composing it and, uh, and let's see how it processes. With this photograph, I was ready for takeoff. I was keen to emphasize the White House. After all, it was upon seeing it that I had stopped my truck in the first place. I wanted to capture its isolated position in this vast, open and beautiful scene. It only felt natural to crop the image in camera to this wide, narrow composition. I couldn't help but wonder how amazing it must feel to look out from the house to see such beauty all around, even if it is overlooking the runway of the world's most unique beach airport. This view was love at first flight, plain and simple. So, as you can see, I've come a little bit closer down to the water's edge. I can't bring you any closer because you're perched on a rock and I'm perched on a rock, so I can't bring you down to show you behind the camera what I'm doing. But the reason I've come down here is because I wanted to include this rock that you can see in the foreground. I wanted to use that as a, a, a balancing tool, balancing compositional feature in the image. And it just goes to show that by just moving around the scene and changing perspective, you can get different images. I've still got the house in the background with the uh, with the water in the foreground and then you've got the layers of hills in the distance. I've changed the lens across uh, to my 32 to 64 mil lens just to make sure that I've got everything in that I, that I need and I'm going to keep the, uh, the, co the uh, composition at 65 by 24 uh, landscape orientation. The six stop filter is smoothing out the water and the polarizer is having maximum effect because the light is coming in at 90 degrees to the direction the lens is pointing at so I can really uh, get the maximum effect by taking the glare off the water and accentuating the colors. But it's just a gorgeous scene. I'm going to take a photograph of it now. It's beautiful. Let's see how it processes. By clambering down the bank and lowering my viewpoint, I was able to change my perspective to the first image. The gap of water between the rock and the land beyond was reduced, and the polarizer brought out the colors in the rock, adding interest to the image. A three second exposure just took the edge off the water, and the lack of any wind kept the energy in the clouds in the sky. A wide crop continued to emphasize the broad, expansive landscape.
Okay, so I've come down to the beach. I've come down to the beach to get a slightly different perspective of the same image, the same scene. I've brought with me the same camera with the same lens, the 32 to 64. I'm gonna keep the same filter system on there with the polarizer and the six stop ND filter. But I've come down here because we've got this lovely spit of a beach here with these beautiful, clean seashells. Absolutely beautiful, so clean. But I'm gonna use this spit of land as the foreground interest, leading the, leading the eye into the photograph, leading it back towards the water, uh, into the house, well not into the house literally, but towards the house and into the layers of the hills behind. So it's the same ingredients as the other photographs, but just a slightly different perspective. And I'm gonna get really low down, keep the tripod low so as to keep that perspective how I want it. But I'll take you behind the camera and uh, let you see how I'm composing it. Okay, so as you can see, um, we've got a completely different perspective of the same scene. Now I'm going to uh, crop the final photograph in a 65 by 24 format. Now uh, what you're seeing here isn't that format, so I am getting much more of the, of the, the rocks on the right hand side in the final photograph but um, it gives you an idea of the type of composition I'm looking for and how I'm including the beach in front with the water just gently lapping up against the, against the beach. The tide's going out, so we're, we're, we're pretty safe now. Um, but again, it's just, uh, the composition's just leading you through. It's got lots of layers, there's lots of depth with the, the beach and then the water with the rocks and then leading the eye through to the, to the house in the distance with the hills beyond. And it's just a really nice, gentle photograph. And I quite like it. Let's just see how it processes. No visit to Barra is complete without visiting the capital, I was going to say city, the capital of Barra, which is Castle Bay. And the most photographed image of Castle, of Castle Bay is the castle in the sea. Now, although it's not ideal weather conditions, we could have done with the, with the light either being behind you or a little bit more side lit. We just got to do, we just got to photograph what conditions we've been given. So I've come up high, I've got an elevated viewpoint here, which is allowing me to zoom in and uh, remove the, the rooftops and the buildings in the foreground and to the right. So I'm isolating the castle and just having the water in the foreground with then the castle. And because I'm quite high, I'm also separating the tops of the castle with the water and the land behind. The land in the distance there is the island of Vatase, which is absolutely a beautiful, beautiful island and it's well worth visiting. So with the light at 90 degrees, it's facing that way, it's coming in that direction, I can put the polarizer on and, and get it to its maximum uh, effect by spinning it and reducing the, the glare off the surface water and also darkening the water as well. And I'm also going to try a 10 stop neutral density filter just to slow and calm the water down. I'm taking a risk on this because it's given me a, an exposure of 40 seconds. And the risk is because, because I'm quite elevated here, I'm quite exposed to the wind. Now, although there isn't an awful lot of wind, there's enough wind to uh, introduce the possibility of camera shake, particularly with this long lens on. Now I've got the tripod spikes on and I've dug them quite deep into the ground and one of them, two of them are on a rock. So, there should be enough stability there to cope with 40 seconds. But we're not gonna know until we shoot. So let's have a go and see how it processes.
The light wasn't the greatest on my visit to Castle Bay. And so therefore it was even more important that the composition was a strong one. And this elevated viewpoint allowed me to create a great deal of separation between the castle and the land beyond. It was also an added bonus that from this elevated viewpoint, there were no telegraph wires, which is such a common feature in urban landscapes. But overall, despite the light not being what I'd hoped for, I'm still happy that a nice, simple, strong, compositional image has been achieved. I've just crossed the causeway which links Barra to Vatisay, and I'm currently on one of the two beaches of Vatisay. This one here is a much quieter beach. It's a much more gentle sea and beautiful white sands. There's a beach just, just a couple of hundred yards over there, which is a lot livelier. The wind comes in off the west and uh, the seas are a little bit livelier and it's a, different, it's a different feel to it. So it's nice to have the two contrasts so close to one another. This location is a location which we are including in our 2023-2024 workshops to the Hebrideans, to the Outer Hebridean Islands. And it's, uh, it's, they are workshops which I'm delighted to be able to collaborate with both Paul Thompson and Adam Gibbs on. I will leave links in the description below for both my website, uh, Paul's website, along with his YouTube channel and Adam Gibbs' YouTube channel. And if it's something that you be, might be interested in, please be sure to uh, check on those links to, for further details. But for now, I'm going to leave you with the beautiful Vatisay Beach. Well, I'm back on Eriske. I've just stepped off of this ferry, which has brought me from Barra, and now it's back on its return voyage to Barra and Vatisay. So I thought I'd end this video this week with a photograph of this harbour. It's one of the most picturesque harbours that I've been to. It's got a lovely curve, and it just creates a lovely natural frame and interest to the photograph. And with the very grey subdued tones, I'm probably going to put a neutral density filter on and just calm the whole image down. I'm obviously going to wait until the boat goes, but that's going to be the general idea of this photograph, is just a very nice subdued slow image. I'm going to put a neutral density filter on there just to calm the water down and just wait for the right moment for when the boat disappears and makes its journey over to Barra. It is quite an absolutely beautiful scene and I'm looking forward to photographing it. So let's just see how it's uh, being composed. It was the jetty which was the main character in this image. It's the jetty which the eye is drawn to. The rest of the elements they're the support cast. And so as to emphasize its importance, I chose a 65 by 24 crop in camera to produce this narrow composition. The soft, subtle gray tones created by the last rays of light were further enhanced by this two minute exposure. So as well as softening the tones and water, the filter also brought out the detail in the stones. I included the beach in the foreground to add balance to the composition, to a truly exquisite Hebridean scene.
Well, I finally managed to get the last shot before the last rays of light of the day finally disappeared. It's been a fabulous day. I've thoroughly enjoyed going to Barra and Vatisse before coming back here to Eresque, and I hope you've enjoyed the episode. And if you have enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to this brand new channel of mine, which is entirely dedicated to photographing the Scottish Highlands, the beautiful, gorgeous Scottish Highlands. I live here and I work here, and I would very much welcome you along on this journey of mine through these beautiful, this beautiful country. But for now, I'm going to sign off. I am going to leave you with this beautiful view looking over Eriske Harbour out towards Barra and Vatasay. Thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.